And hello everyone, Blade here, and welcome to another replay of World of Warships. And today I will be showing off the Cleveland. Now before you're going off on, yes we know the Cleveland is OP, yes we know the Cleveland is a monster, yes we know that the Cleveland is a force to be reckoned with, I know. However, the match I had in this game was a match that I probably won't be able to recreate or relive anymore because of my shitty amount of luck and <laughs> usually the shitty amount of matchmaking usually just my luck anyway um, yep the Cleveland tier 6 cruiser um, so far I have upgraded the hull and the guns on it but I didn't upgrade the range on it however this match shows you that just because you don't have to uh, have extra range doesn't mean you suck with it so yeah here we go see so, so we are paired off against other tier sixes at max and the rest are all fours fives and threes uh, yeah we have a buttload of destroyers I just noticed that um, we got a Congo another Cleveland over there there we go I'm just gonna you know what nope there we go and the sniper vision Taking a nice view at that Cleveland over there. Saw the Königsberg. Uh, I'm, it's it's rather shitty that I cannot see the the lead markers there on 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 the range. However, I do manage to hit the Königsberg, I think, or at least that this salvo will hit it. There we go. A little bit of damage immediately turning away because I noticed I was starting to become the point ships uh, let's say just staying in the front which is bad I also just noticed that I have AP uh, HE loaded again I believe I had AP but I think in a reflex I just automatically switched to HE I don't know why but we got our Nicholas our sneaky little Nicholas capping A over there very sneaky Kind of like Pearl Harbor, that was sneaky too. Um, let's see, we got a Furutaka, a Königsberg, and a Congo over there. There's a destroy. There's a two destroyers in the middle, one allied, one enemy. Not entirely sure what it was. Um, this match also shows that uh, that that why why carriers should not send planes to attack a Cleveland, <laughs> because. If you don't know this yet, the Cleveland is packed with AA. It is one of the first ships that has a fuckload of AA guns. So, let's see, can we show that? Yeah, here we go. So, we got an AA gun here, 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 here. Fuckloads over here. Oop. There we go. And the same around here. Now, these AA guns also serve as secondary armament. So, as soon as someone gets close, all hell's gonna break loose. Now, I have been keeping an eye on the planes, of course, because if you guys have watched Jingles, you do know this quote. Um, if you're in a Cleveland and you haven't shut down any planes, then you don't feel very satisfied, because that is what a Cleveland excel excels at, shooting down enemy planes. There we go, a hit to the Citadel on that poor little Furutaka. I, I've got him zeroed in now, so I'm just keeping my marker right where it needs to be. Maybe aiming a little bit further in front though. There we go. And just see what those shells do. There we go, another hit to the, f to the Citadel. I'm just tearing him a new one. I'm also debating of, of selling my Furutaka because I really, really, really do not like it. Because of the slow rate of fire it has, the slow turning uh, speed of the turrets. The only thing that's good on it are the torps and yeah, that is just it. Anyway, I really wanted that kill so I just keep on pouring on shells on it, hoping to get it. Even though there are plenty of other shells coming in. There we go. Enemy cruiser sunk. That's our first victim of the match. And so far we have 40 hits in, one incapacitation, four citadel hits, and one time set on fire. Now that Cleveland over there is also starting to feel the heat a little bit. 
and I'm still keeping my eye on the map to see if there's any planes approaching. But so far, nope. Alright, that's a little bit over the target. And hello. I don't know what kind of destroyer can shoot so many torps. It's probably one of the Russian ones. Or, no, it's probably the Farragut. I believe the Farragut has um, quad tor torp launchers. I'm not entirely sure, though. I do have the Nicholas now, but I haven't played around with it much. I do know that it has a high rate of fire in the turrets. Right, I just launched my plane just to hopefully get a better uh, field of view. Just to see if I can spot some destroyers. There we go, we have a Farragut over there. And yes, I believe that thing has quad torp launchers. I do know that the Mahan has quad torp launchers. I'm not sure about the Farragut though. Come on, that Farragut is so incredibly lucky. He has his guns trained towards me. And uh, here I am. Oh, there we go. Five heads on the Farragut. And hello, here come the first planes. <laughs> I just noticed those dive bombers. Heading straight towards me. Normally, I would get nervous. However, if you're in a Cleveland, not so much. There we go. That's a destroyer done. Let's see. Can I go into... There we go. The AA is starting to um, wake up. I just activated my... What was it again? Defensive AA fire. And there we go, an entire squadron of dive bombers done. I know it sounds like I have a little bit of lag on it, but I cannot speak so fast, so. Alright, back to what I am looking at. Um, yeah, I, I spotted a destroyer around here, so I figured he was going to go for the carrier, so that's why I said move destroyer on his way towards you. And hello, Mr. Torpedo Wing. I noticed the torpedo wing on the wheel, on the map there, so I'm so that's why I am turning towards it. Unfortunately, my turrets don't turn as fast as I believe they did, because the last time I had a Cleveland, it was during the closed beta. And there we go. I believe the did they launch torps? Yeah, they la he launched torps. Unfortunate. But yeah, the last time I had a Cleveland, it was during the closed beta. And I had this ship for quite a while now. I believe I had it sitting in my port, f port for over two weeks now. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to play it because every time I wanted to play it, it was either in the middle of the night or very early in the morning. So a lot of EU players weren't awake by then. So I, I wouldn't be able to find matches. Um, however, if I went into my tier 3 Kohlberg or tier 4s, no problem. However, um, larger tiers, no, not so much. And this poor little Königsberg is gonna get it. But he is rather sturdy. I gotta gotta admit. I have to admit. There we go. Another plane shot down for me. That makes uh, seven now. And my own fighter just bit the dust. However. Bye bye, Königsberg. And another enemy fighter squadron. There we go, another plane shot down. That poor little independence. He's probably getting extremely pissed at me now. That is why he probably sent so many uh, planes for, uh, to destroy me. But he's probably thinking, oh yeah, I'm, go I'm, I'm so gonna get you now. Anyway. Um, yeah, the last time I had this ship was during the closed beta, and that was a long, long, long time. And that is what this was my very first battle I played with it, and I just burned through my free XP in order to get the hull and the gun upgrade. I wanted to go for the range upgrade too, but I fell, I believe, over a thousand free XP short. And kaboom. Down she goes. And now I just noticed I am the only one on this side. So I decided, you know what, let's okay, head to uh, to the south. And apparently someone is just talking shit, I think, about me. It is Azimia Morantin. He's a scheiss Hollander. If you guys don't know, I'm Dutch. <laughs> and he was in the Tier 5 Königsberg. So I just asked, what's your problem? And he's probably... 
he, he probably, yeah, he said something in German. Unfortunately, my German isn't that good, so I'm not entirely sure what he said. It probably wasn't nice. There we go, he said Feigesau. Not really sure what it was. If you're German and you do know what it means, be sure to tell me so that I know, or yeah, that I know to f uh, either to feel insulted or complimented. I don't know, nor do I care right now. So yeah, this is a little breather in the match. 112 hits in, 60 capacitations, 5 citadel hits, 2 times set on fire, 3 ships destroyed, uh, 6, what are those again? Ah, doesn't say. But 10 planes destroyed, and speaking of planes, whoops, there come dive bombers and torpedo bombers. Now, I decided to focus the dive bombers first. Because the tor uh, torpedo bombers do not have a good uh, good place to fire at. There we go. That is one. Now I focus fire on the torpedo planes. As you can see, they're flying over the island. I'm fl I'm sailing way too close to the island for him to drop torps there in order for them to fully arm. So what he does, he tries to fly in front of me and drops them head on. However, it was only one plane that's left. So I just turn a little bit to the left and ole. Two squadrons down. 20 planes shot down. Unfortunately, they're capping. Don't care. So now I got a little bit cocky and I asked the carrier, how many planes do you have left? Because I was fairly certain I almost shut down every plane he had right now. So <laughs> I got a little bit cocky. Excuse me. Alrighty. I like it how fast this ship also can go. It's very, very speedy. So we got an Aoba over there, a Ryujo over there, an enemy uh, Omaha. Now that Omaha, I gotta honestly say, he knows how to uh, use his ship. He knows how to aim, he knows how to fire, he knows his ship. And anyway, back to gun view. So I'm just sailing around the corner here. Or steaming around the corner in my Cleveland steamer. And I'm seeing shells flying over, probably heading towards the carrier. And, you know, I just decided I really don't like people just bashing the team just because he himself did something stupid. So I just decided, you know what, just report him. Just because you, uh, you die doesn't mean the team sucks. It just means that either you are in a wrong spot. And for some reason, he now starts rooting for me. I'm not sure if this is well, was this uh, this was meant or just taunting. At this point, I was like, "Eh, fuck it. Just ignore, keep playing." And I'm starting to feel the heat already, or in this case, the AP. There we go. See, he he immediately knew where to aim, where to fire, which is pretty impressive because I usually need a barrage or two maybe three, in order to dial in my shots. However, once I usually have a target dialed in, I rarely let it go. Unless the heat is so much that I have to let it go. There we go, another hit to the Citadel. And... Minus an Omaha. So we got a Wyoming over there. And I noticed some splashes behind me coming from the Congo over there. That was a Congo, right? Yeah, it's a Congo. However, that Wyoming looked so tempting to shoot. I loaded HE, aimed a little bit in front of him. He's already bleeding health. I, I think he has been torpedoed by the destroyer way in the back there. Unfortunately, couldn't get the kill on that one. But hey, do my eyes see torpedo planes? <laughs> Oh well, let's just let the AA work on that. So now I shifted attention to the Congo. And that torpedo wing got demolished by two fighter squadrons. Very nice. Alright, a little bit too far in front of him. I think he's going at half speed. I'm not entirely sure yet. And I still hear... Yep, there we go. That's the only fighter plane left. I believe that one was from the Omaha that was still flying about. No problem though. There we go. Set the Congo on fire. It's bleeding health now. 
again set on fire. I think he just used his repair ability. I'm not entirely sure. I cannot see that from this range. Or it just could be that I've set his mid and aft po uh, deck on fire. There's some shells coming in. Nothing hit me. And there we go. I set his front on fire. Now this is just why I think the Cleveland is such an awesome ship. It has triple barreled guns. It has rapid reload, rapid fire. A lot of damage. Yes, thank you, Mr. Announcer, an announcer Man. And now I just thought, hey, it looks like he is ramming me, or wants to ram me. Because I figured, if you're in a battleship with big guns and there's a cruiser nearby, you just want to broadside and just pump your AP into that ship as hard as possible. So, I think that is why... It did some, uh, so didn't so do so much damage because I just turned away in the in a split second there. I also noticed that I'm heading towards land. Slam down the brake, and for some reason, I killed a battleship. <laughs> and hello, Mr. Cleveland. Fancy seeing you here. Alrighty, so as you can see now, the air is pretty much dominated by us. I'm not seeing any enemy planes anymore because I think the Independence doesn't have any planes anymore. Or I'm fairly certain. So there's still a, uh, a destroyer somewhere, and a Cleveland. Not sure where that destroyer was. I do believe I'll be able to meet him soon. But in the meantime, I'm just pouring it on Mr. Cleveland over there. It's a battle of titans, or battle of the beast, because the Cle let, let's just face it, the Cleveland is a beast, and now I notice the destroyer, he is very close to me, I believe I noticed it after this salvo, yep, there we go, there he is, shifting attention to it, pre-aiming a little bit, just letting loose the guns of war. I got a high caliber, but he managed to launch his torps, so I'm, I already figured, yep, this is going to be the end. I'm not able to dodge those things. There we go. I'll be sure to destroy you. But that's it. That's the end for me. That's the end of the Cleveland. But holy hell, did it perform admirably. High caliber and confederate. 21 planes shot down. Six ships destroyed. I gotta say, it's quite a day. Well, in a second, I'm gonna show you the stats. And yeah, give me a sec. And there we go. The stats. We got Guardian, not a Guardian, and New Horizons done. All three missions in one, which gave me a fuckload of cash. Uh, my double XP, and let's check the team score. Yeah, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. This was Blade, and have a great day. Goodbye.